Hi, CNXsoft here with Melee X1000 Blu-ray Navigation Android TV Box powered by Telechip TCC8935 dual-core Cortex-A9 processor Alright, this is the IR remote this is the one I will use uh, most of the time during review but I also have got the um, Melee F10 is an RF remote with a QWERTY keyboard it's not included with the box but sometimes I use this for text input alright so I've connected uh, the board to Ethernet, HDMI, power and AV output I won't use it in this video uh, there is also the dongle connected to USB for the Melee F10 so let's start the device by pressing the button on the front panel okay I can also do the same uh, uh, with the button on the remote uh, because power on the display here is controlled is controlled uh, by MCU in the board okay boot time is a little slow I found maybe one minute Oh, less than one minute I guess alright so this is the custom interface it's pretty simple okay we've got the file menu with access to SD card, hard drive, network shares so you find uh, you can have access to NFS servers and Samba servers okay, it will automatically detect the shares in your LAN. Okay. And after you will scrap the, the files, the pictures, and music, and movies, so you can play them. It didn't work for me, maybe because uh, I, I don't have videos in the root directory of my share, but in subdirectories. So I, I don't know what happened, why, why it didn't work here. But I'll, I'll try later, since of course I have to play videos at some point. Uh, there are also some pre-installed apps. Everything is pretty standard, uh, except DTV, IPTV, I'm not sure what it is. I haven't tried yet. Uh, FW... sorry. WFD Sync is from Wi-Fi Display, Miracast. There is also the X... XBMC plugin cannot do anything because actually XPMC is not pre-installed in this device and you need to uh, to go to internet and download the, uh, the version you want to install um, I asked the company which version uh, and I will test it in my review alright uh, so you have Ethernet if there's a Chrome browser uh, the, the default Android browser then the settings that's the interesting part so okay you get uh, system settings you can select many different kind of languages somehow my uh, my box was set to Hebrew I didn't know why they sent me this like this so you can select time and weather okay with a lot of uh, with some settings you can s some localization settings you can select the one you prefer system information we can see it's Android 4.2.2 and the MCU firmware version and also the system version I guess is the firmware for the Telechip SOC and there is also the launcher version ok, firmware update, we'll check OTA uh, mine is already the latest ok, then screen and home settings you can uh, resize the screen to fit your display and there is also a screen saver which shows the logo or the blank screen okay and you can set the time uh, there is a system time uh, so the, by default is a multimedia launcher you've seen in this video but you can also switch to the android launcher 
uh, like the standard basically stock Android but still with, uh, with the navigation bar uh, you found in the multimedia launcher but you will get you will be able to add icons and switch between uh, five screens like in Android right and the pop-up is only to let you choose between the Android launcher or the multimedia launcher all right uh, startup mode you can select what you want to do just the home files music videos etc you can also set it to power off automatically and a few other settings okay and advanced settings yeah, you can do some pretty neat stuff uh, you can select the behavior of the power button on the device or on the remote to power off or to suspend so power off will completely turn it off and only the MCU in the board will run not the telechip processor uh, you can format the disk uh, USB hard drive I guess I, have any, I, I don't have one you can select the keyboard layout uh, the remote setting I haven't checked it yet but I think you can yeah you can check this QR code on your mobile phone and install an application to use your mobile phone as a remote and you can set the factory default okay that's all for settings audio visuals you can select the video output HDMI, DVI or composite the resolution up to 1080p 60Hz The native frame rates 24 frames per second or 1080p I. I don't really know what it is for, but I guess some people need it. Uh, HDMI, you've got uh, analog, this is a uh, don't sampling if you have DTS, SE3, etc., or Dolby, or digital, I guess it's just mean pass through. Right? Okay, but okay. So you can select if you want to pass through the digital DTS and HD audio. What is HD audio? I don't know. Okay. And uh, you can do the same for digital SPDIF, for SPDIF. And for RCA, I guess you only have... <laughs> uh, you only have uh, analog, okay? And then you can con adjust some the screen settings okay so on the network you can select the Wi-Fi connection on or off right on the Wi-Fi settings it will detect your network Ethernet connection or on off Ethernet settings automatic or fixed IP and the advanced settings something I really like is the YouTube YouTube cache size. I've set it up to 8 seconds uh, because my uh, internet connection can be slow and I like to have a big cache even if the video starts slower. I don't understand what is HLS player and show network status we just uh, show the IP and connection status at the top. I don't want that. Okay and the movie alright you can select the subtitle languages subtitle attributes uh, some of the settings set up the skip interval select select your blu-ray region code A, B or C playback mode BDMV, BD light or pop-up I guess pop-up is to select to ask to ask each time you play video to select between BD light and BD MV. I need to find what these are. You can sort. And there is a movie scraper. Okay, with different locals depending where you got your movies. Okay, musics. You can get lyrics on or off. I'll have to try this on sort. Photo, you can have different transition effects, slideshow, wallpaper, and of course you can go to the Android settings. 
you will get Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Ethernet. They made it quite simple. Okay. And there is not much <laughs> in the Android settings because you can do everything you need. So the internal storage they put 2.25 which is nice I, because I always have problems with apps. Okay and that's all and let's just go okay if you're interested in the developer options USB debugging is enabled and there are a few other options too but I don't want to go there. And finally about device you can see the Android version, kernel 3.1.10 I've seen the source code already released and the build number but not for this uh, the source code has been released not for this device but Telechip made a release I think I, I've read about it ok, that's all for today uh, I'll test some videos and write a review bye bye on cnxsoftware.com